Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Night in the Woods. This wonderful, wonderful game we're going to be continuing. What are you even thinking about in there? Nobody knows. Now I think I already talked to Madre Bonita. Well, let's go, just in case it restarted. Good morning, did you feel it last night? No. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, we've already done this one, the sinkhole, right? Spill him, mom. Yeah, there was a big sinkhole two streets over. So I'm going to go ahead and skip past this. Alrighty, now we're heading out. Let's see what the world has to offer today. Will old man crocodile be there to... Ooh, it's raining. P.S. Atmospheric with the rain and the soft piano. Like, did somebody die? Hello, May Borowski, Selmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Selim family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom and to Abby Krangler. Mrs. Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Greg got locked inside one of the tumbler dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Sure. Sometimes I think and start to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember... It's October. October? I combined two of my favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but I hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Where? Up in Towny Century. He's a biggin. Cool. What do you guys say, Mr. Porch Man? My cat don't like folks on the porch. I'm a cat. You stop that. Hmm. Dang it. Now, of course, we're gonna do our usual diddly do. Dang it. I see. Dang it. I will get up there. Again, I forget how I did it last time. Need to jump later. There we go. Adventure across everything. Ooh, and also pumpkins. See, I just leave my laundry out in rainy days. It's like a cheap wash. <laughs> nope, nothing new. Moving on up. Everyone has the same exact Jack O' Lantern. What weird things have happened this time? Has anything weird happened? Of course, we check this every time, just in case. You never know. Something might be added. Nope. What's up the atmospheric piano? We're just walking down the street. Now we're going into the tunnels. Well, we have the rats to feed, so... 
I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Now, of course, keep an eye on his eyes. You ain't seen nothing, Mr. Doggo. Oh. You ain't seen nothing. Just me, grabbing a pretzel. We've been through this song and dance once before. Or more. Only I got caught that one time. But I wasn't in control. But now that I am in control, which is technically not in control, well, I don't know. Getting the hang of this. <laughs> what kind of person just sits there and lets somebody steal stuff from them as long as they don't move while they're doing it? And nobody's cleaned this stuff off yet? Hey, kids. Rainy day, huh? But not down here. You kids have your own little secret hideout down here, huh? Pfft. Whatever. When I was a kid, literally nobody cares. Well, whatever. Okay, then. Jerks. At least the little mouse has respect for me. Well, fear. Either or. Those kids, nothing. They don't care. But I care, and that's what matters. I guess go up to the church, see who's inside, see if Bruce is around on this rainy day. Poor Bruce. Still like that the door actually closes behind you. It's a nice touch. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed it, the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The Old West was a very rude time. Howdy, partner. I say I saw this is powerful rude. <laughs> That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. <laughs> Tarnation. Oh, Mom, no more cowboy talk from you. Dagum. <laughs> I gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you. Alright, let's see the sanctuary. New place! Love and peace. Hey again. Hey, your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You're not a churchgoer? I was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I liked Sunday school. They'd give you cookies and orange drink. It's oh, Is orange drink really the only name for it? Huh, I don't know. I, I'm realizing I've also been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. They think that is orange. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing. Sing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come someday. Uh, some someday? Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh, wow. Preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well, we're praying and gears are turning, but they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want, and I take comfort in that. I hope it turns out okay. Thank you, May. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God... Sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of my job description. Okay. Eh. Don't want to go there. It's rude to stand on the altar. And she's nice. This place is nice and my mom works here. Don't want to, don't want to ruin any nothing. Let's go. The only thing to do is I go up to Bruce. Bruce seduce. Hey there, Brucey. Huh. You just kick up sticks that you can't even see. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? 
What do you think, Molly? Uh... Uh... It's fine? <laughs> All right, Bruce. Yeah? How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place. Nice people. How long have you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. I was here before back in the 70s. They were looking for miners at least for a while. Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. Well, we sure are appreciating you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. All right, troops, let's move out. <laughs> With the little twang of marching away. Thanks again, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. No problem. So, what's your story? Uh, got no story. Like, where are you from? North of here, northeast. Worked on the railroads. Worked some mines. Worked some construction. How'd you end up here? String of bad luck. I don't have to talk about it. I never turned down that offer. Yeah, I can't really blame him. And of course, we're gonna stare out into the. Eh. The weird nothingness. This place gives me a bad vibe, bad mojo. Bruce seems like a cool dude. Stay dry, Brucey. Okay. What was the state of affairs again? Better have to go home and check my laptop just to be careful. I don't want to accidentally move the story forward. Because I want to go talk to everyone. But if I talk to the wrong person, the day will continue, maybe... So the last time they did give you a dialogue option like, do you want to end the day? And I was like, no. So either I missed something and it's like, do are you sure you don't want to? S God diddly dang it. It happened again. I didn't follow my own uh, advice and keep it pointing kind of diagonally up. Let's see. Can I get up from here? Nope. Gotta go all the way back. And again, do not fall by... Shut up, dog. Hey, what's up, dog? And of course, we're gonna go feed the mallard. Because mallard is nice to me. Blue light shining through. <laughs> Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food. Yes, you do. That means I have to go steal another one. Another one. Gotta check the doors always, because you never know what creeper lives here. Well, now we have another thingy to do. Steal more from the pierogi stand. Because screw that guy. I think they're supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature sawmills for sure. I can make a turn. Birds don't care until you get right next to them. Hey. Hey. Gonna sit if that's cool. It's cool. What you doing? Drawing. Okay, what you drawing? You know how in a movie, like a knife will go through someone's eye? Oh boy, do I ever. I'm like designing an effect and makeup for that. Heh, <laughs> fake real. <laughs> oh. I'm working on a horror movie. That's so rad. Okay, maybe I'm not making it yet, but I mean, someday I could like 
direct it and write it and do the makeup. I have a really good scream too. Really? Ah! I want to like go to a horror movie school. <laughs> I think they have those. Oh yeah, they're really cool. I already know how to make fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I know, oh, like all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Every one? A lot of them. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we gotta go. Later. <laughs> Rip. That gets me thinking. Did you make the... Uh, the arm we saw like our first day back? What was that? What was that? I'm confused. I'm out of here. Wait. If something came out of that, then... Does that mean I can set them all off? Hey, I'm going to be a terrible person. Maybe it's like a signal. Large winds, this place. Send out the messenger. I'll have to keep an eye open for any more of those. Set them all off. Well, because I don't want to... Uh, ex uh, like, advance the story, I'm going to quickly steal another diddly and then go back to my house. See what everyone said. My babies are all fed. Mama don't need to steal today. Oh. I, th I guess... I guess that one was all enough. Even though there's three this time. <laughs> Still gonna go head home. I wanna make sure. Don't want to advance story too far. Just love the ambience. It's just so simple, so nice. Gotta stand on the mailboxes. Quickly head up, look at the computer. Read the messages if I can. Game may not let me. Crap. I don't know my to-do list. I know I did crimes. One downside. <laughs> okay, thingy for me in the future. First off, hope that they'd have the do you want to continue the day thing. And secondly, don't like err. Uh... Hmm. Don't uh, quit the episode or recording session right after reading the messages because they only appear once. You only appear once. Yoa. Yo, wow, uh, yo, oh, 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 oh. But first off, we're gonna just walk around everywhere. Hello, raccoon. And then we shall meet all the friendly dandies. Though I guess we can check out the video store too, mainly because. Uh. Oh. It looks so sad and empty when they're not. when we're not playing in it. Goodbye, party barn. But I guess I can go to the video rentals too because uh, Angus is still not back, so. Don't have to worry about him continuing the story. Hm. Heartbreak, music, nothing else, so be nice. Well, there are some people that are being very nice. Goodbye, possibilities. Still miss you. Let me guess. It's wet and I'm cold. 
The smelters shouldn't say that. Hell no, smelters play in any weather. Come rain or shine, it's always smelter weather. What? Huh. I wonder where germ is. Germ. Germ, germ, anyway. Don't know, he just appears. Nobody knows where he came from, where he goes. If his name is Cotton Eye Joe. Hop. Nope, can't make it. Not going to the Falcon just yet, because we're going to probably see Bia first. Down. Click clack. Oh, I did not expect the heart of hometown since 1972. Ha ha ha, it's gone. Hey, Germ, what you doing? Nothing. Was hanging with a couple of uh, crusties before. What? Crust punks, traveler kids. Oh, okay, like from the trains. They know we don't got much cops. I miss all the cool stuff. One of them had a dog. They mostly have dogs sometimes. One time I seen a crusty missing a foot. What happened? Trains, jumping on and off and falling between cars and stuff. That's intense. Hands, knees, legs, feet, whole arms. We saw an arm the other day. Do you think it was from a crusty? Nah, I mean, I don't know. Huh. So, I'm here a lot of days. Okay, I was gonna say, I have to go now. Bye. As he stands there. Ha, huh, wall. Okay. New plan of action, find a way to get onto the Click Clack Diner. Then after that, talk to Bia and then Gregory. That's weird. Germ just out here. Who is the Germ? Maybe I can get onto the trash can. Nope. Then the only other thing I can do is maybe jump from the lighting posts. I can make it. I gotta just do it properly. Dang it. Yeah, diddly dang it. How do I make it? God diddly dang it. Maybe there is no way to make it. Hi, damn. Well, I guess I can't go there, so instead we're gonna go to Bia first and then Greg. Greg seems to be the advance the story dude. Honestly, this piano feels so out of place of it being so atmospheric. One of the dude got fired. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a loud rock and salt to move. Came in early this year, and like a crab load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Wanna hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna like, come along. Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt-putt out in Hunwick. May, that's 
actually not a bad idea. But sorry, gotta work. Ah, uh, jeez. What's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So, do you want to come along or not? Is this the... <sighs> Let's hang out. I haven't, didn't hang out with beer before, so let's go with beer. Sorry, Greg. Sorry, didn't talk to you. Then again, that probably would have uh, convinced a hang out with Greg segment. Can you just refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People you uh, pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here in the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got a weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back up here before. May Borowski, you have now been here. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins, people turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So don't, like, get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder. It ain't murder if it's animals. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? You didn't knock. You didn't even do it with your nose. Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through four la for a fire alarm, but that furnace. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Jean passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Jean was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait. Wait. For. It. You can't take a woodsman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. <laughs> Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, crime was definitely committed, all right. They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk you off about it. Come take a look at my fridge while you're out of here. We bill by the half hour. <laughs> what the hell, lady? Good job. Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just classic. An original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. Oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek in a ravine. <laughs> so, furnace. Oh, yes. Right through here to the basement. <laughs> Sounds good. Come on, May. <laughs> All right. We'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, down we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. <laughs> How dare you? I am May Borowski. I am the killer. How dare you? Load! Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Gee, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands sacked up in the corner. <laughs> all right, let's get this done so we can go home. That's the furnace? That's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm going to fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I going to break? This is a basement full of crap. Oh, jeez, okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here, then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Jeez, this is one old-ass fan. It's made of metal, and you could chop your fingers off. Fish. 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 <laughs> fish, fish, fish. A baseball bat. Ah, my old nemesis, Professor Lucius Von Nomio. And the baseball bat. Well, we gotta have to base, base ourselves out of here. 
bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez. Who even would have this much junk? Yeah, okay. I could see this being useful. I could see this being useful in a furnace fixing. I'm going to fix the furnace in an adventure game. <laughs> looks useful. This looks useful. I need your expertise to fix this stupid furnace, professor. But why not the bat? Oh, man, this is gonna... All right, so I can't carry anything else. So I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. <laughs> so I got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thingy with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thingy to open up the heat pipes to turn up the fire. To open up the heat pipes. Clinky's probably got loads of heat, but he can't get out. To get Clinky all hot and bothered. We will teach Clinky to love. I bet I could, um... I think Nomi could bite onto the turny thing. Or the wheel was. Could use racket as a handle. Statue would probably work better. Because the badminton racket could probably break. Okay, yeah, that's the stuff. Probably could, like, pull him. But we're not always going to be here to pull him. I think one good hard pull should be enough. But we're not always going to be here to pull him. The fan can stay on, and then if he breaks, this breaks, you can only have to replace the fan. It should be good for the environment, too. That's important. Like the turbines on the mountain by Fort Lucin. God, I remember when everyone was so mad about that. It's going to ruin the view. It's going to kill birds. You know what else is going to ruin the view of, and the birds? When a meteor hits the earth because it gets too hot. That's what happened to dinosaurs. Okay, where was I? Dinosaurs were effing <laughs> rad. Making a basement turbine out of a garden gnome. Right. <laughs> So there isn't a lot of wind down here, but like, could put the fan on Nomi's butt, and that would make it spin. Racket for the other fan part. Tie well together and fashion line and wow. I should like, start a company. Sustainable garbage turbine. What? <laughs> I'm just messing about. I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. Ah, oh, come on. God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Ah, friggin' crab. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm gonna check the exit. I'm gonna check the exit. Did we get locked in? We got locked in. Damn it. <laughs> well, we're locked in. Ah, I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid beer. See if you can yell? It's not gonna work. Mrs. Miranda! Mrs. Miranda! <laughs> it didn't work. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like figure this out. I'll look around too. Yeah, you go look around a whole bunch. The only other thing. Baseball bat. Come on. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace when it was broken. Broken things need to be broken. Oh, no. Why not just bust the door down with the bat? Hmm. Well, it's what, the one tool I do know how to use. A tool for beating. Ah! This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well! I don't want to continue beating it because I don't want to die. Awesome music though. You'd think she would hear it by now, uh, or at least Bia. Why isn't Bia down here to stop us? Oh well. If you ain't gonna stop me.
<laughs> Suck at you piece of crap furnace. Yeah, geez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, cool. She's coming, thank God. Uh, thank me? More like. Hey, Miss Amanda, you locked us in. Well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You all right? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. Such a nice night out. Lovely. Then what's up? Nothing, just tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. Uh, you are zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some medical sh magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to mess it. <laughs> and now you just get to walk around in this place, I guess. Gather up some fireflies. I'm the firefly queen. Ah, this thingy. Oh. I can gather up the fireflies. Or just stand here with fireflies. Nope. Maybe if I gather up all the fireflies, BM might be like, oh, that's so magical. I noticed this when we were coming in the first part of the game with all the fireflies. Wow. <laughs> Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, May Borowski. Granddad said being interesting is all you can hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woohoo! You know, I have to say this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. See? I'm good to have around. I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. I can beat the shit out of anything. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Eh, Dr. Hank said way back I need to repress it. Repress? Not, like, learn to deal with it? He specifically said repress. Oh, um, okay. Hmm. So, do you think Mrs. Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. Do you think you'd have to stomach for it? <laughs> nope. I probably took a probably I probably took a lot of heart. Yep. I wish she would explain it to us. I get it, May. She really wrecked him. <laughs> okay, that was probably okay. That probably stayed in place. Yeah, that would stayed where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you got a liver for your your life. Bye. This is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. You've got a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Not as exciting as stealing from uh, the place of Greg, but it was definitely enjoyable. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I go to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What do you do tonight? Oh yeah, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids, <laughs> you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about? In the cross space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Nah, I'm in bed. Nope, I want to watch some perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Ah, yes. <laughs> now do you remember these voices again from yesterday? Or just make new ones? Ah, yes. You know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it, gotta. You hear about this new law in the books? Parody in a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to ten years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. He has, folks. What if pirating a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny? 
Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a whopper. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. I don't get that show. <laughs> Nothing in the kitchen. Bye, Daddy. Oh, Daddy O. So I have to watch TV with him day after day after day. And I swear, if she doesn't recall the um, combination, because there's probably a safe in that crawl space, then I'm going to be a little tad angry. I just remembered I hung out with Bia when Greg is alone. Oh no. Hey, that was fun. Let's do that again sometime. You are pretty handy when it comes to breaking stuff. I'm sure there's a job in there somewhere. Yeah, it's called demolition. You can actually get a job doing that. Holy shit, I found my calling! I'm glad I could help facil facilitate this. Oh, so I looked up people who attract insects. Seems to come down a lot to heat and various odors. They can't get enough of this. I guess not. Good night, May. Night. Hey, punk, what do you do tonight? Got trapped in a basement. Beat up a furnace. Right on, man! Night, night. Ah, you did good well. I might have to dedicate an entire episode just to playing uh, Demon Tower. Because that is actually a decent minigame. Yes. That's so adorable. All this time still adorable. Why you don't have pajamas? If we hear Rock Sandman, we know we're awakened to the dawn. Oh, Dream World. Dream World. What are we going to do today? Bust something up like we did last time or... I could kiss up at every Simba Dave! Tuba Man again. Why do I always find the Tuba Man first? I'm the Tuba Man! What does it mean? What does it mean, Bilbo? Gotta find all the towers of all the people in them. Kind of jazzy song, this one. Like, the one playing right now could honestly fit, like, silly villains, like Bulk and Skull. There's a lot of ways to go, and there's another... Wait. The song reminds me of the song from the lo of a song from the Lost Constellation. That interests me immensely. And lights are lighting up. Okay, there's just a light post here for no reason. So that there must be a thing where you have to light all the light posts as well as the towers. Okay, villain song becoming a little bit more villainous. And now back to kind of silly. I didn't find the last song instrument. Like, what was them? There's like Tuba Man, Violin Man. And then I think like a trombono. 
Maybe I have to go across the river. Water thingy. It's like once it gets dark, I was like, I don't, I don't want to risk nothing. In Dream World, you can leap like on the moon. I just, the problem is like I'm getting absorbed into the game again and again and again, so I like forget to talk. Well, time to walk on the water, because can't find anything else. You know, this is a dreamscape. Really should expect this. Ah. Don't know why her mind is plagued by a band that does not feature guitars and computers. Instead, it's an interesting band. But this very specific part reminds me of the last constellation. But the problem is, I don't know where to go now except back to where I came from. If I can. Which I think I can. Because that's the only real place of note. And everywhere else is a dead end. Ech, things in front of me. Don't like the deep. Oh. Keep lighting these things and now what's going to appear? Last time was a bear. Oh, it's a squirrel! No! No, go away. Go away, squirrel. Why, I don't, don't. No. Her eyes glowed. Like, what, is she absorbing the gods? The dream gods? Hello, Sandman. Mind explaining my dreams? Because I don't know what's going on here. 